well this is the outfit I wanted to wear today however it is far too cold and yes I'm aware it looks like pyjamas but like I always say the best clothes always look like pyjamas <sighs> another time when I'm staying indoors but I'm going out to Beverly today to do some more Christmas shopping I know ridiculous so I'm going to be getting changed and getting something warmer on I'm like full as fuck but apparently not we got free bargain this how nice is that freezing I know I'm so cool I'm really excited though because we're going to Weatherspoons. Are you excited to go to Weatherspoons? I just want some food. I am being to a Weatherspoons since I lived in Sunderland. I'm real fucking excited. Oh, it's so <laughs> cool. This is mega. <laughs> Don't like peas. <laughs> I am literally buying how many books? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven books. It started raining. We've done all right there. My fucking hands are freezing. You've bought for your mum and your sister. I bought for me. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> Can't get out of my hood. I'm like... I was like a ghost. Look. Just eyes and eyebrows. We're going to Kingswood, right? Yeah. To go to a big next and a big Asda. Yeah. Mate, <coughs> this weather is wrong. It looks so sad. Disgusting! Eh, hey, well, it was what he is. We could hear Ryan. Pardon? I'm gonna do Cher Lloyd by Cher Lloyd. <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> what we found? None of um... Help. Mm. I'm gonna stay here. So comfy. <laughs> We're in next. Yeah, boy. You found a nice coat, didn't you? They're okay. expensive though. Yes. Should we buy this bed instead? How much is it? It's so comfy. I know. I've never known comfort like this. I'm just vlogging up my nose. Yeah, oh! Which is one of my favourite songs. That's a strange choice. We are watching the Strictly final. Mum actually sobbed at Ashley's show dance. I, I was no close. No, I was very close. It was amazing. And Faye and Giovanni's was, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Also, Joe Suck has red hair and it's really cute. But I voted for Kevin and Stacey six times. Who did you vote for? I voted for Kevin and Stacey once. Twice, I think. Ashley and Pasha. Ashley and Pasha. Twice. And Faye once. And Faye once. And then yeah, I ran out, out of time. Because the clothes are half an hour behind. Yeah. But I would have. They're, they're so all amazing. Cute. I love Joe so He's adorable. And Claudia Winkleman is like, whoa! What? I have never in my life witnessed a strictly this insane. Rotating platforms, giant top hats, rotating sets, like actual sets, theatre sets moving around. And whatever they're dancing on. What is that? I don't know, but it's hair. Interesting. He looks really cute. Like a little cockatiel. But we've eaten. You've eaten some pizza. You've literally barely touched it. I've had pizza, I've had some Pringles, and some peanut m and And snaps. And I've had hot dogs. But their show done to start now. I think it'll be the Queen. You think the Queen will look here? And by that to mean Stacey? No. Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II. Are they going to do it in reverse order or something? I reckon they'll just announce a winner. Ah, champions. Come on, Stacey. Although I'd be happy if it was any, any of them. them. Faye. Stacey, Faye. Stacey. Stacey. Kevin just flew straight to the ground. Oh! Oh, oh look at her family. Are you crying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of Kevin. Oh, they all look so genuinely pleased. I'm gonna cry. I want to know what order they came in. I don't. 
Have everyone in there. We've just been talking about how much we'd love to be married to Anton Dubeck uh, because he was dancing with his wife and it was very sweet. And mum went, because I was like, Oh, I'd love to be married to Anton. Mum went, Me too. I was like, Well, you've got dad. Well, what does your dad dance like? And the answer was this. And then he finds the closest sequins and strokes them. But I do love to be honest, Anton Dubeck. Anything, anything shiny. And he's like, Oh. This is the worst outfit I've ever seen. It's stressing me out. It's, it's re the shoes. What? Why? And the just yeah, the whole thing, the whole thing. Cheryl, what are you playing at, babe? That that's really really bad. What? Oh, hell. Yeah, no. shocking. Pure shocking. Sophia Nygaard, please wear this outfit. I do not think you are prepared to see how much of a shit all my room is. Desk, the chair. The bed, the floor, and the biggest pile of clothes. This is shocking. I genuinely have no idea how it's gone this bad. So I'm gonna do some tidying and organizing before I go to sleep and organize all of my Christmas presents that I bought because I had organized them all really well and put them in here, in there, but now they're everywhere, so. Literally all I did was tidy up the clothes that were spilling literally everywhere. But now I'm gonna go and organize all of the Christmas shopping that I've done so far, just to double check that I have everything for everybody um, that I've ordered so far. There is still some bits that I'm expecting in the purse, but I'm pretty sure I have uh, completed Christmas. There's just a couple of bits that I need to sort out for my parents, and then I'm done. I'm super happy with everything I bought everybody. So I'm gonna organise it really well so that a couple of days, either before or after Christmas, I can do a video on what I bought people for Christmas as well as doing the what I got for Christmas. Because I love doing that video because I'm gonna be able to watch that back forever and be like, oh, that's what I got that thing that I use literally all the time ever. I got it when I turned 24. I got it when I turned 23. I got it Christmas 2018. Like, it's cool. I like that shit, but I've had a nice day in Beverly, it was lovely, it rained a fuck ton, <laughs> and actually what I will talk about is the books that I picked up for myself for my birthday, and a bag that I bought from TK Maxx for myself for my birthday, which is actually from my parents, they asked me to just have a look, see if anything caught my eye that I wanted for Christmas or birthday, and some things have, so I will show you the things that I have picked up over the past couple of days. I apologise for the terrible lighting because these things would 100% look a lot better in proper daylight but I picked up this fucking beaut of a bag from TK Maxx the other day. I think it's honestly the most beautiful thing in the entire world. And look at all those 
pockets. I haven't taken any of the wrapping off the straps yet because I'm going to save it properly for my birthday because it's still got all of the plastic wrapping on all of the hardware and it even has, that's how you know it's a good bag when it has the studs at the bottom but the chain is just stunning. I am so excited to be able to wear that after Tuesday. That is fucking cool and then when I was in Tesco's earlier I would have shown you some books that I picked up. Now if you are Ashley look away or skip forwards about four minutes just to be safe. So these are all of the books that I picked up today. Ashley this one's yours so look away. So Disney have done these like twisted other side it's yeah it's the disney twisted tales and i picked up the four that they had on the shelves when i was in which are these four it is um once upon a dream as old as time a whole new world and part of your world which is little mermaid beauty oh that's aladdin um that one's Beauty and the Beast, and then this one is Sleeping Beauty. So it's kind of like the Sleeping Beauty ones if the prince kissed Aurora and he fell asleep instead of waking her up. So it's kind of like, this is the worst angle. There we go, that's a little bit better. So it's kind of like backward stories. So I picked up um, the Sleeping Beauty one for Ashley, because um, I just couldn't, I couldn't leave it there. And I also got these two because all of the books, well, all the books back and these ones were on two for eight pound so i get what would the spice girls do how the girl power generation grew up by lauren bravo which i'm very excited about and talking with serial killers by christopher berry d um it sounds fucking sick like this sounds so exciting so it's the guy that just sits and talks to serial killers and it's the transcripts from their interviews which i am very excited about so i've got two more uh well i've got six more books that's my ginormous reading pile. So yeah, I'm gonna go and organize all of this shite. There are four plastic bags next to my already full cupboard and also these Christmas presents that I need to organize and I need to do an inventory list, price list, all of that kind of stuff to get that all sorted. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this very chill, very festive day of vlogmas i'm so happy that stacy dooley won strictly like i've been rooting for her since the beginning and she's also making me want to grow my hair and then dye it back ginger what an angel but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you tomorrow <laughs>